Hey guys, this is Camilla from the Easy Promos Marketing team and today I'm going to take you very quickly through the new application that we just released. It's called Tournament Bracket App and it's a great application to generate engagement and to drive customer interactions. So with the new Bracket App, you can create online knockout tournaments for real sports or cultural events or you can as well create online competitions where you invite your audience to vote for their favorite series, products, meals, or even tourist attractions. So as the first example, I'm going to show you the UEFA Women's Champions League. So it's a bracket generated for an actual sports event. And let's start by, by, by taking a look at how the bracket actually looks. So as you can see here, there are different stages quarterfinals, semifinals and final and there are different teams that either make it to the next round or they get eliminated. Once each stage is finalized, you can actually click on view votes to see precisely how users voted. Okay, so it's all super transparent and clear. But if you actually go back and you try to participate, you try to make your, in, in this case, you try to make predictions, if you click on vote, you will see that the app asks you to register. So we will take a look at an application that I'm already registered in. In this case, um, users were voting for their favorite tourist attractions. So as you can see here, there are pictures with the name of the actual attraction and its location. Okay, you can change it all manually. You can upload the pictures. So you simply vote for your favorite attractions. And once the voting period is finished for each round, the application will then select the winner. So the candidate that was the most voted one when it comes to this kind of competition. And the application will generate next round only with the candidates that were the most voted ones from the previous rounds. Another example that I want to show you is this one where there are two different categories. So the, the Easy Promos Tournament Bracket app allows you to upload 4, 8, 16, 32, or 64 candidates to the application. However, if you want to create two different categories or three or four different categories, you can do so. So for example, in this case, users voted for their favorite historical novels and black fiction. In the previous examples, we could see that there was text and the tourist attractions location written underneath the pictures. In this case, as you can see, there's no text. There are just the pictures, okay? But if you wish not to upload any pictures, that's absolutely not a problem because the application actually allows you to assign different colors to the candidate instead of images. So in this case, there were 16 candidates and the candidates were colors. Users were choosing the favorite colors. So instead of adding images, we just changed the color of the background to show the actual color that the users were voting for. And as the very last thing that I would like to tell you is how the points are assigned, which is a very interesting, uh, interesting thing. So if the competition is based on real sports or cultural events, Users will only receive points if they predict the actual winner. So if you vote for team A and team A is the one that wins the first competition, then you will get a point. If you vote for team B, but it's team A that makes it through, then you will not receive a point. However, if you create an application, if you create a promotion where users vote for the favorite, Users will only receive points if they vote for the most popular option. So for example, if you vote for biscuits as your favorite snack and biscuits make it through, you will receive a point. However, if you vote for biscuits, but it's peanuts that make it through, you will not receive a point. I hope that after watching this very short video, you're actually interested in checking out the app. You can go to our website to try the different demos that we have. You can go to the editor to play around and please remember in case of any questions we are always happy to help thank you